These students were the top 30 who set for the upper secondary school certificate and diploma in STEM examinations last year. They have been selected by the STEM committee for being the best in the science, technology, engineering and mathematics courses where they will study at South Dakota State University, University of North Dakota and North Dakota State University. STEM consultant Jason Kopiap highlights on the number of students selected from each of the national schools of excellence to study in U.S. PNG, we just begun, just like 2023, and we have a long way to go, and that's how we're going to take big PNG. We're going to learn from their technology. We have to learn from their medical technology and also in aviation and how we build roads and bridges and all this. And our students will be the best mechanical engineers that can qualify to work anywhere in the world be the best doctors, they become the aerospace engineer or biotechnologist or uh, chemical engineering and that's what our STEM students are going to study. They come back and they're going to bring the work culture and work ethics and the knowledge that they gain to USA and they come here, they change our country. Mr. Kopiap said the students will be interviewed as a group at the United States Embassy on Wednesday to receive their visas on Thursday. He said classes will begin on August 22nd, where he described it as a great help for PNG students to become the best in their fields. Uh, for last year, it was fairly distributed. For this year, I saw the list. Uh, uh, majority came from Sugary and Pomnets, and then we and then uh, Wawin. Wawin, not many, maybe one or two. Uh, Karavat, not many, one or two. Uh, Pasam, uh, three or four. But majority of our third students are coming from uh, Sugary and uh, Sugary National School of Excellence and Port Mosby for this year, uh, Port Mosby National School of Excellence. Adding to the STEM scholars was STEM Development GESD Officer 5 Kerry Rambo. Mr. Kerry Rambo said other students from STEM subjects will also go to universities in India, China, Malaysia and Australia this year. He said 40 STEM students will go to India, 40 to China, 22 to Malaysia, and 10 to Australia. He encouraged students to take such opportunities seriously and work hard. Jacinta Dokta, National MTV News.